Hello everyone, my name is Jana Cristo and today I want to show you how to enter your deposits in Belgium when you're starting out. I find that this is um, improperly in entered um, prepayments and deposits are the most common mistakes when um, property managers and landlords start Belgium. So I will show you how to do it correctly and then I will show you what mistakes people do and how to correct that. The first thing you want to do uh, when setting a deposit, um, go to accounting and from accounting to banking and add a bank account. I'm not going to add all the information, but okay, I'll just give it a name. I'll say this is, let's see, the name, and it's going to be trust account. And this is, will be account where I'll keep all of the um, security deposits. So, all right. So I will create this account, and this is my trust account. Okay. So there is zero right now in this trust account. I'll click on it. And I want to, um, it, as you can see, it says because it's a new account, it says that it doesn't have opening balances. So I'll make sure I have that. And um, notice also that it says what well, was the bank account balance on December 31st. This is the, the my start date was the 1st of, 20, 1st of January of 2022. So it's asking me what was the bank balance on December 31st. And I will say that was $10,000. Okay. And here it gives you a chance to allocate um, those deposits to each property and I would say um, um, Main Street is $2,000 and the rest is rency. Oops, 8000 sorry. Uh, okay. Alright, and I will save it. So I've created my trust account where I keep all of the all of the tenants' deposits, but now I have to um, show how much each property, how much each tenant has. Like I have to show that they have paid the deposit. So what I need to do is. Um, I need to go to rentals, tenants, and since we have one property, that's not difficult to find, but I allocated in the trust account the deposit, um, you know, how much I'm holding for each property. So now I want to, this is the existing tenant. I will, I just wanted to show you that even though I allocated to the property that $2,000, it's not showing here where it says deposit held for the tenant. So I'm just going to click on the lease ledger. Okay. So what most people do wrong at this point is to receive a payment. Now that would not be a mistake if it's happening after the start date, but I've received this payment already from the tenant and that was a month before my start date. So instead of receiving a payment, what I want to do is I want to issue a credit.
and this happened let's say on the first oh let this happened on December 21st first okay and I've Okay, I've received 2,000 from this tenant, and I want to issue them credit. Just, um, I just want to point out that there is a specific, um, it, it asks, um, the Belgium asks you, why are you issuing credit? And you need to point out that this is credit issued for payment previously deposited. And now we need to check where is this credit coming from? And the credit is coming from the opening balance equity. And okay, in which account would we be applying this credit to? Uh, we want to apply it to security deposit liability. Okay, and we're gonna save it. Right. Well, let's see mm, if we if everything looks good on the tenant side. So we have uh, deposit held for two thousand dollars, which was not here. So now I want to show you what people do wrong and how you can fix. It's a very common problem. As I mentioned, instead of giving credit for payments received before the opening date, they just enter it as a payment and that creates a lot of problems. So I'll show you, um, we'll do it the wrong way and then I'll show you how to fix it. So let's see what's going to happen if we do this the wrong way. So we'll go to rentals and Tenants, click on the tenant, and what most people do is they'll just go and let's go to lease ledger. By the way, I did delete the previous payment I, I made, the credit I made. So, um, what most people will do is they will receive a payment and that kind of makes sense you know you're showing that you received the payment so let's say two thousand dollars and i let's say we received it with a cashier's check from grace and we're gonna deposit this uh, we received it for the security deposit liability and i'll, I'll save this So yeah, as you know, when you receive a payment, you have to make a deposit as well. So if we go to the banking, let's look at the summary for the tenant. Now here it shows deposit held $2,000, okay, but the problem is when we go to banking, we're going to see undeposited funds and not in the um, trust account, but in the operating account because when we made the payment, we didn't specify where it, it's coming from, where it's going to, it's... Uh, um, Buildium assumed that we're going to deposit it here. And now it's showing that we have $2,000 as undeposited funds. So I'll click on that. And since it's undeposited, I want to deposit it right here. And after I deposit it, let's see what happens with our accounts go back to banking and where we we had nothing in Bank of America in our operating account 
Now we have $2,000. So here it is, deposit Main Street. That's why when you start anything that happened before your opening date, you have to give credit to rather than um, enter a payment. So um, how do we fix this? I'm going to click on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is just delete. First, I'll start with deleting. Do you see where I'm clicking here? All the way down on this blue, I'll just delete it. That's the good thing about Buildium. You can fix pretty much every, everything, which is not the case with other property management software so then we go to go to tenant and we want to also delete that payment okay and grace and we go to go to lease ledger and we on click on the three dots here I edit this payment. Okay, all the way down, there is a delete on the right side. Delete, yes, delete. We want to delete this payment. So right now, it's like never happened. So the correct thing to do now is enter issue credit. So we need to issue credit for that deposit. So that's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Um, it shows your support. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, send me an email or um, ask your questions in the comments below. Thank you.